the kitchen. Um, a little bit different layout here, so I'm kind of getting used to it and uh, getting the zoom lens in, all that good stuff, but hey, we'll make it work. You know, this time of year, I get tons of emails from people, as I said earlier in our workout, saying, you know, we've got picnics coming up, uh, we're going here, we're going there, everyone's cooking hamburgers out, what can I eat? Okay, you've got to start thinking simplicity and outside the box. So today's recipe of the month is very simplicity, or simple should I say. And I do this simply to show you a way to start thinking about things. You know, if someone's having Mexican food, start thinking about, you know, your version of Mexican food. Today, we are going to make a mushroom turkey cheeseburger. Okay, now, if you don't have mushrooms, that's fine. Use something else, a tomato. Um, I happen to like mushrooms, I happen to like cheese, fat-free cheese, and we're going to use turkey meat instead of hamburger. You do not, you won't even know the difference, okay? Um, so anyway, let's get right to it. I was doing this now. This is so simple, but just think about that. If some of you have emailed me that, think about, wow, yeah, I can still have, uh, you know, a hamburger, but it's a turkey burger. So you just kind of make your own patty like we're going to do today, put them in a little bowl, uh, you know, an airtight bowl, take them to the picnic, and they'll cook that and use your wheat bun. So let's get down here and I'll show you the ingredients. Very simple, uh, just too simple almost, right? Okay, first of all, you're gonna need half a pound of ground turkey breast, okay? Again, in past uh, DVDs, we've used this. Right here, honeysuckle white, uh, ground turkey. Uh, there's about a pound, uh, what is it here? There's a little over a pound here, so you'll use half of this, okay? Next, you're gonna need three egg whites, so just simply take, you know, your egg whites, and this is where your burger becomes more nutritionally sound than the others. One fourth cup of spiced breadcrumbs. Now you can get these in different flavors. <coughs> this one's Italian style, they're spicy. Um, there's all kinds of different flavors, but you need some breadcrumbs. And try to get whole grain breadcrumbs, okay, people? Whole grain. Uh, next, you can use black pepper, tiger sauce, uh, barbecue sauce, whatever it is you like, okay? Uh, then you got mushrooms. I happen to like mushrooms, so we got mushrooms here. And then we're gonna use Borden uh, fat-free cheese. Okay, simply put, or simply done, we're gonna take, uh, let's zoom down here. Come on down, come on down, come on down. Let me see here, let me see, uh, there. Okay, in the bowl, I have half a pound of the turkey breast. Next, we're gonna uh, dump in the egg whites, okay? Then we're gonna use about a fourth cup of the spiced breadcrumbs, and get a measuring cup here. Uh, where did I put that puppy? Fourth of a cup is not much, but it gives it a little bit of texture, so we're gonna take a fourth cup. Where am I? Okay, here we go. So we're gonna use a fourth of a cup of the breadcrumbs right there. Go ahead and put that in there. Right there, okay. Now, once you do that, you're gonna put that in a large bowl. You can add your barbecue sauce or your tiger sauce or Tabasco right now. I prefer to wait till after to put it on top. But you're gonna put that in there, then you're gonna form this by taking just simply, a, I'll just take a regular spoon, mix this up, okay? Mix it all up where it's got some texture to it. Mix it around. Get all the breadcrumbs around it. Now you don't have to have the egg whites completely absorbed in here, but you do want to make sure that the breadcrumbs and uh, everything is folded in correctly. So we're mixing this around, mixing this around. If it's too juicy, if it's not quite, uh, you know, because of the egg whites, add some more breadcrumbs. Just sticking it up here. You can't go wrong. If you've got whole grain breadcrumbs, you can't go wrong. That will absorb some of the juice there. So you're gonna fold that around. And turkey meat is a little bit different texture than hamburger meat. Okay. Next, just take you, you know, if it needs more texture there, add some more breadcrumbs, and just fold that in, okay? Fold it in, just like this. Then you just simply take, you know, a handful, just like you would on a hamburger, you're gonna make it into a patty, and voila! Here, let me trade this out for you. Simple, 
turkey mushroom burger. Obviously, you take this out, you cook it to your preference. Um, you may like your well done, uh, medium well. I, I prefer mine a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say raw, but I definitely prefer it not to be overcooked. And let me zoom down in here a little bit more now my hands are clean. Okay, so you made a hamburger patty. This is just a turkey patty. Once you cook this, simply take your mushrooms. Once it's cooked, take it out on the grill. You just simply put your mushrooms here. Now remember, this is your fibers card, correct? Okay, put that on there. Then you will take some of your cheese, your fat-free cheese, and you find the scissors here. Thought the scissors were right there in the drawer, and they were not. Okay. You simply want your burgers cooked. You put your mushrooms on there, put your little cheese, okay? I would go back then and put this back on the grill or why it's on the grill. Put your mushrooms on there, then put your cheese and let that melt on top of the burger. Then, to finish it off, to make it definitely a supportive meal, and back this up, we're going to use uh, Nature's Own, these are called Nature's Own 100% whole wheat hamburger buns. Look at that. These are hamburger buns. Nature's Own, got this at Crest Foods. So, you've got whole wheat buns, you're using fat-free cheese, mushrooms, and you're using turkey. Okay, you cannot go wrong with that meal. And you get to join your else in at the picnic. So, that's simple. Start thinking outside the box, people. You're emailing me with questions that are, they're good questions, but that's just a very simple one. So I decided to show you how I make a burger if I'm on my supportive eating day. Hey, I love you. Uh, email me at tlcfitness at cox.net if you've got any questions. Uh, you can call me 820 if you want me to go in more detail. And uh, have a great month, have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.